50,000 people have been evacuated. The fire stands at 0% containment as it continues to grow. CBS News Brief, I'm Peter King. Up in the morning and out to school. 790 AM, 94.1 FM, KFJO.com, the KFJO mobile app. Follow 790 KFJO on Twitter. Like the KFJO Morning Crew on Facebook. Fargo Public Schools is in need of some employees. Doug Andring, Fargo Public Schools Director of Human Resources, joining us in the KFGO Morning Crew right now. Good morning to you, Doug. Good morning. How are you? Good. Has has this year and the, the way um, schooling is being done, has that created the need for more employees, whether it's uh, teachers or paras or help in the lunchroom? Yeah, I think, um, you know, every year we're, we're always looking for subs. I mean, to be quite honest, um, I think this year certainly has been more challenging as we work through uh, staff that have had to go home through the contact tracing process or perhaps have tested positive themselves with COVID, but it has been probably what I would say a little bit more challenging to get more sub-teachers and paraeducators, yeah. Doug, with so many people in this current economy that have been laid off, maybe somewhere to start, um, what would be the quality? If somebody's listening and they've been laid off from a job and they think, maybe I could become a para, what would be what would be some of the requirements that would need to be met if somebody is looking for a job uh, within the Fargo Public School System? So if they would want to go out to um, our employment uh, website and our Fargo Public Schools webpage, and if they click on the substitutes link, they'll see, and this would be both for teachers and for paraeducators, they would see the qualifications there that we would require um, for paraeducators, you know, we're not requiring it, but we would, of course, prefer you to have some sort of experience within uh, K-12 education. Um, if you go over onto the teachers, you would see that you'd need 48 semester hours of college coursework and then a valid North Dakota interim substitute license. So we certainly would encourage anybody that might be interested in subbing for us, and we do have needs to go out and check out our employment website. Uh, Doug Andring, Fargo Public Schools Director of Human Resources, joining us here on the KFGO Morning Crew. Now, you mentioned, Doug, uh, having a college uh, coursework and then getting that certificate. Is, is there a lot? I mean, can it be college classes in anything? And uh, how much work is it to get that certificate, I guess? Um, well, you'd need to work with the um, North Dakota ESPB to get the um interim substitute license, but it can be, um, and, and ESPB would have information out on their website too about the uh, college coursework that needs to happen, but it can be a lot of different courses, um, somewhere within elementary education, or if you're going to be a substitute teacher in our high schools or middle schools, um, you know, something along the lines, if you're going to be in social studies or biology or any course or um, courses that you might be teaching there. Doug, can you help maybe put it in, in a maybe some kind of a context or help our listeners understand, is there a huge need? Are you like 20% below where you would like to be in terms of having support staff? Are, are you, how many positions do you need to fill? How far, is this really a bad situation or is this just a normal year for you? Well, it's, I would say probably a little bit more than normal. Um, if we look at what we're um, not able to fill for our teachers, about last week it was about 16% um, for our paraeducators. Um, that was around 64%. Um, so there, there is probably a little bit more of a need this year uh, to be able to fill, and especially more on our paraeducator side but certainly with our teachers as well. And when it comes to, you know, like the distance learning, uh, if there's students that need help, uh, does the Fargo Public School District help, uh, like, get them in touch with tutors or parents are on their own and finding their tutors? Well, if a student does need help, um, that student can certainly reach out to their teacher for that. Um, or certainly work with the principal to get that help. But we do offer tutors, but even in a distance learning environment, the students still would have that connection to their teacher. Um, and if really would need be, could 
um, under certain circumstances still meet with that teacher if they really did need that help and if the teacher also determined that as well. Doug Andring, Director of Human Resources for Fargo Public Schools, joining us on the KF Joe Morning Crew. We, you know, we as parents understand that, you know, there's so many different needs to be filled within the school system. How, how are you doing, whether it's um, from cook staff, uh, from the from the kitchen staff to janitorial? Are, th- are there openings there as well? You know, we're, we are holding our own um, as far as other types of support staff like our maintenance and operations and our nutrition services. We still do have openings. Um, in those areas. We aren't seeing quite the absences, I guess I would say, related to COVID in in those employee groups. But certainly, if you would go out to our employment website, you would see or will be seeing um, some positions that will be posted within those departments. And if our listeners just followed your website there, I imagine uh, when new opportunities pop up, they would see them coming in as well? Correct. Yep. Anytime we have new opportunities, we get them out onto our website and encourage people to apply. Well, we thank you for what you're doing. It's just uh, really an eye-opener, folks, when you look at the, the website and, and realize that Fargo Public Schools, the fourth largest employer in the in the metro area, between two to 3,000 employees. And, Doug, we, we thank you for joining us and helping our listeners better understand the, the needs and the work that's being done to meet those needs. My pleasure. Thank you. You bet. You have a great day. That's Doug Andring, Fargo Public Schools Director of Human Resources, joining us here 